Hello and welcome to another Modern League video here on ModernNexus.com. My name is Ryland, also known as Holy Shamgar on Twitch. And today we're playing with some spicy black green Eldrazi. Now there have been some uh, two color green based Eldrazi lists running around on Magic Online. Uh, you've seen a couple five O's from uh, red green Eldrazi. And last week I saw this five O uh, from none other than Willie Adel playing uh, black green Eldrazi. Now this 75 is exactly his 75 from that 5-0. So um, if you find the deck interesting, I'll credit to him, of course. Um, that said, uh, he, I believe um, he has mentioned since then that he wasn't really a big fan of the Lilianas in the deck. Um, but I heard that secondhand, so I don't fully know what his opinion might be on the subject. Um I've played a little bit of this deck on my stream to middling results. Uh, we played two leagues, uh, both to three twos. So nothing exciting there, but not an atrocity either. Uh, it does seem to have some pretty cool elements, but perhaps could use some tuning. Uh, this does seem like kind of an early list, uh, and I, I assume some tuning could make it uh, a little better. Um, but I'm not necessarily the right person for the job, but we'll see. We'll see. Um, so basically, this deck is not entirely different from Eldrazi decks we've seen in the past. To me, um, while obviously it has some very close parallels to the red-green Eldrazi deck that just started popping up somewhat and has historically popped up occasionally, it does also remind me a lot of the Bant Eldrazi deck that was popular for some time. Um, the shell is relatively similar in the sense that we are a bird of paradise, ancient stirrings, Eldrazi deck, um, but instead of having like Path to Exile, we're, we're a Fatal Push deck, and we also have some discard. Um, the other black elements, obviously, you can see as well that are included uh, are Liliana of the Veil and Bearer of Silence. Uh, I kind of want to get this out of the way right away, but Bearer of Silence, you cannot use Eldrazi Temple to pay for its triggered ability, and that is because Eldrazi Temple only allows you to, um, I guess I should say, obviously, the second mana producing ability on Eldrazi Temple. The, the first you can use, of course, um, no problem, but the second ability requires you to be spending it on the Eldrazi itself or an activated ability of the said Eldrazi. Uh, this, of course, is a triggered ability, um, not an activated ability, and as such, you cannot use Eldrazi Temple to pay for it. So it's worth mentioning that up front, since that uh, is probably the most common question with the deck. Um, because of that, I'm tempted to think that Bearer of Silence isn't good enough. It has been kind of middling in the test so far. Uh, we'll see how it is today and maybe talk about that a little bit more at the end in the wrap-up, but I just wanted to mention that up front. Uh, like I said, other than that, we got a pretty standard Eldrazi deck. The mana base is kind of interesting. We do have our four fetches, one Urborg to sort of help with the double black situation, and then a ton of Twilight Myers, and these are pretty important in the deck because A, obviously they're a colorless source, and we do need to have a density of colorless sources in our, you know, uh, 16 colorless Eldrazi deck. Um, I guess that's not including these two technically colorless Eldrazi, but obviously they do not have the waste symbol um, in, their, in their mana cost, but... I guess they sort of do with, with the triggered ability. So really 18, I suppose. So a density of colorless lands is important. Uh, Twilight Mire certainly serving that purpose. But on top of that, Scavenging Ooze being very demanding for green mana, Liliana being very demanding for black mana, um, Twilight Mire really helps there as well. Alongside that, we have the full play set of Llanowar Wastes. Same purpose. Got a couple Overgrown Tombs that we can fetch. One of each basic, uh, the required for Eldrazi Temples as they're Obviously, very, very good in our deck, uh, especially alongside Ancient Stirrings. And then a few Cavern Souls for those matchups where we might be encountering counter spells. Uh, you will find yourselves naming Bird, you will find yourself, if you're playing this deck, naming Bird or Ooze occasionally to save yourself from paying life, or even if you don't have any other uh, colored mana sources in matchups where you don't care about this producing um, uncounterable Eldrazi, since you're Eldrazi again. Uh, all 16 of these don't need any colored mana, and as such, you, you could just use this to name bird or ooze or whatever if you don't care about the uncounterable effect. So that will come up. Uh, the sideboard, I think it's a little rough uh, thus far, but um, it does have some good elements here. Uh, Relic of Bridgenna is for the um, 
graveyard oriented matchups creeping corrosion obviously for any any artifact based ones affinity lantern what have you um, very very powerful card in those matchups happy to have it uh, i definitely understand why all these cards are here it does take up a big portion of our sideboard but those matchups would probably be very tough otherwise and, and as such i understand that uh, that desire on top of that we got a couple of the other lilianas um, sometimes alongside these lilianas sometimes um, sometimes a swap depending on the matchup uh, but really helping grindy matchups or matchups with a ton of x ones uh, Malstra Pulse, just for dealing with problematic permanents. Abrupt Decay, not present in our deck. Um, it is really hard for us to cast. So Malstra Pulse may indeed just be better, except in matchups where we'd have to worry about counter spells. So I kind of kind of like the presence of Malstra Pulse over something like Abrupt Decay. Uh, additional Thought Seizes 3 and 4 in the board here, and then Slaughter Pacts, which I think is kind of an interesting inclusion that I have uh, enjoyed somewhat thus far considering that it allows you to commit to the board while also dealing with a problematic threat if you say against a devoted druid or um, just something you need to deal with Eidolon, uh, whatever, whatever it may be. Uh, so that said, that's what we're working with today. So we'll go ahead and hop into those games and see how it goes.